Hello, I'm Joe Wren. New legislation extends more privacy rights to sexual assault and domestic abuse victims on college campuses. Current law provides what's called testimonial privilege to sexual assault and domestic violence victim advocates, such as people who work at rape crisis centers. That means an advocate can't be compelled to reveal a victim's personal details in court. But an unintentional loophole in state law doesn't provide that testimonial privilege to victims' advocates on college campuses. The legislation is awaiting the governor's signature. A group called Bring Your Bag Bloomington is trying to get an ordinance passed that would eventually ban the use of plastic bags. There would be a one-year adjustment period where residents could pay 15 cents for a plastic bag, but the proposal is on hold because of House Bill 1053, which prohibits local governments from adopting plastic bag bans. We should be able to talk about what's good for us, what's good for our waterways, what's good for our parks, what's good for our environment. Supporters of the bill say it would ensure laws that govern businesses are uniform across the state. Governor Pence hasn't said whether he will sign the bill. And 92 Indiana pedestrians were killed in car accidents in 2015, the highest number in the last 10 years. Indiana Criminal Justice Institute spokesman Adam Baker, whose agency keeps track of traffic safety debt data, says there are a lot of factors at play, including more people walking. The numbers match national trends. And now a quick check of the forecast for tonight. Mostly cloudy conditions, lows down to 42. And in the five-day forecast, sunny tomorrow, 60. Then cooling off, 51 on Friday, slight chance of rain. Then a 30% chance of rain and snow in the forecast Saturday, highs up to 47. We have more news on our website, WTIUnews.org.